Hey y'all, welcome back to Summertime Tarot. If you're new to the channel, my name is Summer and this here is a money and career reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising sign. All right, but let's go ahead and get into it. As a reminder, these are general readings, so they may not resonate with each and every one of you. If it doesn't resonate, be sure to check out the readings for your moon and your rising sign. Okay, but let's see what's going on here with you, Sagittarius. Okay, so first off, I feel like some of you may feeling like you're you're being blocked in some way. And I feel like it's not that you're blocked, but that there's something here that that you need to kind of either learn or do before you can progress or move beyond this kind of current space that you're in. Right? Bottom of the deck here, we have arranged marriage, soul connection, commitment, a marriage based on your soul, mission as a union. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, your spiritual team, your ancestors, the divine, right? They're trying to work to kind of get you um, connected with people, places, and things that are in alignment with you and what it is that you see for yourself, you know, your divine mission, right? Your soul mission, that kind of thing. But I feel like at this current time, you may be kind of... There's some healing here that needs to still be done, right? Be it with money, be it with your idea of success here, um, or even, you know, doubt, faith. You may be, like, lacking faith or um, within yourself, within what it is that you want to accomplish for yourself, right? You may not be believing or trusting that you are worthy of all of the abundance that it is that you see for yourself, right and that may be kind of blocking you and stopping you from making the moves that are necessary for you right i feel like some of you here may be like very much afraid right of maybe um negative energy or the intentions of other people which may be stopping you from making the moves and doing the things that are necessary for your elevation for your growth but also you may be kind of because look, we have two cards here about um, protection, right? It says, um, African mass spirit, we have warded off negative plans and plots against you and spirits are warning you to protect your energy foundation and relationships and success. Oh, we also have this one. Someone has tried to cast work or send negative energy your way, feeling attacked, sleepless nights, protection needed. Yeah. So I feel like it could either be, you know, that you're associating with people that may not have your best interests or you're focusing on things that aren't in your highest good. You may still have like fears or insecurities that you may still be feeding in some way, shape or form. And you may be questioning whether or not, you know, what it is that you want, right? You could have a goal, you could have a mission that it is you're trying to pursue. Um, but you may be doubting yourself. You may be questioning whether or not it um, is for you. And because you are doubting, because you aren't trusting yourself, you aren't trusting your spiritual team, it's kind of like you're being blocked, you're being stopped. Because there's still work that needs to be done, be it spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or also like in the physical realm. In order to kind of remove this negative energy remove this fear remove this doubt all 
let's see. What else wants to come out here? I feel like some of you here, you could be either procrastinating or you could be rushing. And it's kind of a need here for patience. To work on grounding yourself, grounding your energy, right? Being present in the now and focusing on what you can do now, not trying to kind of rush past the things that it is that you need to do or what have you all right could be kind of really forcing it I feel like there's a lot of fears here that may be influencing your 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 thoughts, your mind, but also what it is that you're doing, right? I feel like here with this five of swords, you are kind of focused, you are kind of determined, but at the same time, there's these thoughts, these feelings that you may not be kind of allowing others to see, but that are influencing you and your actions, what it is that you're doing, and it's kind of preventing you from seeing any um, grow so to speak because you're kind of focused on all, all the things that could either go wrong or all the things that aren't working um, you may be questioning yourself doubting yourself, doubting the process and so it's really a, a need here to really just take things step by step right and to make sure that you are you know taking the necessary efforts making the necessary changes in order to see the growth to see the the change that you want to see to really stay focused on kind of here with this five of swords here especially with this falling on um over here i feel like you know it may be time for you to kind of cut off certain people here like i was saying cut off certain people but also cut off certain behavior that may be limiting that may be um keeping you small or keeping you stuck in certain patterns or in certain ways of thinking ways of being Right. And some of you may even just be kind of feeling very stuck in a job here where it's like, oh, my gosh, like there's no way out of this. You may be very like unhappy with it in some way.
but you may not be really um, wanting to make a change. And I feel like it's time for you to be honest about, you know, what it is that you want. To really listen to yourself. But also to listen to, like, the messages and, and the signs that may be coming to you from, you know, the divine, from your spirit, spiritual team, right? Because I feel like if, you know, this space that you're in is, you know, is making you feel worn out or torn down or just not your best, right? There's a message there. There's something that you need to see something that you need to be aware of and not to like kind of push it under the rug sweep it under the rug and like feel like oh it'll just go away because you know it won't it'll make it'll it'll it will appear so that you can do what you need to do to get rid of it you feel what i'm saying or to make whatever change you need to make okay well, let's go ahead and see what blessings you got coming to you in the month of march Okay, so I feel like there may be an opportunity here for you in the month of um, March that, you know, that's connected to work here that you may not be expecting here that may kind of connect you with either connect. I feel like connect you with someone or something that's kind of important that may um, bring in more. <laughs> more uh, opportunity for you. That's the best way I can explain it here. Right. That may even kind of push you in a new direction, push you towards um, something more your speed, something more um, beneficial or in alignment with what it is that you really want for yourself, right? This could be, you know, a person coming to you here with this main mail that's like, hey, I got something for you or I want you to do this or some, you know, such and such wants this or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like um, it will... I feel like it may lead to um, some kind of connection that could bring about, you know, fruitful things, things to grow for you, right? Or it could, for some of you, it may be an opportunity for you to kind of step out on your own to do something, um that's unexpected of you that that kind of puts you out there and kind of connects you to certain people to certain opportunities that may be like if you have a business that may be beneficial for your business or um that may kind of put you in the eyes or in the line of people that could um lead you to something or someone that will be beneficial for you when it comes to work, right? Okay, but let's go ahead and close this out here with some advice. Reading. Okay. All right. 
So we have here being direct. It says today I will own my own power and be direct and I will be clear and honest in my dealings with other people. If I'm comfortable with my own truth, then those around me will be comfortable with me too. Okay. Be direct, right? I feel like some of you may not like know completely what it is that you want to do, or right? You may be questioning what move to make or what have you, which may be causing you to procrastinate, or it could be causing you to kind of rush into things. And so I feel like it's kind of time for you to sit down, like I was saying, and be honest with yourself about what it is that you want so that you can actually see some growth, right? Because once you start like being direct about what it is that you want, okay, I want this, then you can really focus your energy to channel your energy into what it is that you want. And then you can start seeing growth. Okay, and then we have making the right decisions. It says, today I will search for my own truth and I will allow others to do the same. I will value the worth of my own vision and the visions of others. We are all on our own paths, making the decisions that are right for us today. Yes, make the decisions that are right for you. All right, and then standing firmly in my truth. Today I will acknowledge that my knowledge, feelings, and beliefs are all mine and they're just as valid as anyone else's. I'm open to learning from others and their experiences, but I will stand firmly in my own truth. Yeah, man. Get connected to you, right? Don't be afraid to, you know, stand in your own truth, to listen to yourself, to trust in yourself, to make the decisions that are right for you and that are going to benefit you in the long run, right? But that's all I have for you. Whoa. <laughs> but that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully this helped you in some way. If it did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon. Peace out.